Hello YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Luis and in this video I'm going to insert a second solid state drive or a second hard disk on, on, on this laptop, on this Asus laptop. So this is not a new laptop and how can we know that? Because nowadays none, there are no laptops coming out with the DVD because it's not used anymore it's a technology that was already surpassed because right now we can fit 4.7 gigs that you uh, used to fit on a, on a DVD we can put uh, that and a lot of more information in the size of your nail okay so in a micro SD card we can put like 128 gigs nowadays or more okay so this is the caddy i ordered from ebay it was uh, I, I will uh, show you in a minute but uh, this is like ten dollars and so this will replace the dvd optical drive inside and it comes with uh, the screws and also with the, the screwdriver so you just need to to open your laptop remove the optical dvd drive and in the same place it will fit exactly if you choose the right model so this is the one that i've chosen from ebay and of course i search for the the model of my laptop okay so after the solid state drive is perfectly secured is ready to install so right now we just need to to open or disassemble the the laptop but before let me show you so this is the the connection that will be doing uh, it will be connecting inside when we remove the the optical drive and some caddies come with a plate a fake DVD plate like this one that I have on my hand and this is simply aesthetical just if you don't uh, want to have a, an ugly laptop but the, the caddy that I ordered from from eBay doesn't didn't come with this so I could now break this black part and, and just put some hot glue or some other kind of glue and it would look a little bit perhaps nicer than just a black uh, plastic like it is okay so another thing that uh, I done is just to put this black plastic here in order I can push no pull I can pull and and retrieve the the drive or the caddy once is installed okay so just imagine that I want to replace the solid state drive or I just want to swap between the DVD optical drive because I can continue to use it okay so it will be easier to remove from the laptop okay so just search and you do YouTube video showing you how you disassemble your laptop and this one i have to remove uh, screws from the back but i will access the the optical drive from the top so i have to remove the the keyboard so be gentle with a plastic tool or a credit card something like that be sure to remove all the screws and then kindly disassemble the those cables and now we have access to the optical DVD drive and it's really easy we just need in this case to 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 remove one screw drive one screw okay and that's it now it just swipes out Okay, 
and just to show you that is exactly the same size of the caddy otherwise it, it would not work because the, the caddy has to fit exactly in the same position in order for the connector to connect with the motherboard of your laptop okay so this black part in some cases we can remove it and and you you can connect it to the caddy i will not do it because i will st probably still be using the the dvd drive i will keep it because as you saw you just need to to put in and put out it's really easy and we can smooth uh, we can swap from one to another really easy okay so right now we are ready to test the computer so before we close it we should give it a try so before we assemble back the, the keyboard and the touchpad and all the screws we I, I will connect a external keyboard and a, a mouse and I will power up the computer just to see if it the, the, the new solid state drive is detected otherwise we have a problem but as you can see so I pressed escape key on my on for this laptop to access during the boot and as you can see we have P0 that's the crucial solid state drive and P1 the 8 data solid state drive okay so if you didn't upgrade your hard disk drive to a solid state drive consider to do it because your computer will be reborn it will work 10 times or 12 times faster okay so the prices the the solid state drives are today are really really good so do it do it because you will not regret okay so right now we will be booting to Windows just to see if we also can find the, the, the new disk to be used. Okay, so booting normally. Just put my password and let's check the disk tool. So, management of disks and volumes, and as you can see, we have disk zero and disk one. So, everything is working properly and really nice. So, what is the main goal of adding a second uh, solid state drive? So, you can increase the size of data that you can keep on your computer or you can have two operational systems so you can have windows and linux you can have linux and and hackintosh if you know how to do it or if you you, you can have windows and hackintosh so mainly you can have dual boot okay this is my main goal I I will use it for dual boot and you see how it is how easy it is to to swap the the optic between the the optical drive and the, the new SSD okay so that uh, black plastic that I added um, I have been doing that in other machines that I own and it works really nice okay so before connecting before closing the machine be sure that everything is working so that's what I'm doing here I, and, and I noticed that the touchpad is not working so something is not well connected and that is why you should 
test everything before you close it otherwise you you will have to reopen and that's not good okay so yeah so the touchpad is not working I will have to connect again okay so I have connected the touchpad again and now the as you can see the cursor is moving so everything is working really nice so let's close the machine is ready to be used and and to finish the, the, the task or the, the work and don't forget if you are enjoying the video if you are getting some value uh, with this video to to leave it to give it a, a like and consider to subscribe the channel okay so I was saying that um, the main goal of the this this caddy for me will be dual boot so I installed a secondary or another operating system in this case I installed in macOS Monterey and I will be showing you working perfectly from the secondary solid straight drive as in as you can see we can change or swap the the drives really easy so if i want if i need to use the dvd drive i can still use it and this black plastic attached comes really handy in every time i need to to pull the, the drive out okay so this is another laptop with a, a caddy and as you can see already i also have the plastic attached in order that I can pull and swap the DVD or the, the SSD and be careful when ordering because you have to order specifically for your computer model you see one is thicker than the other and it will not fit from one computer to, to another okay so if they were exactly the same size and the installation was Linux I could swap directly from one to another okay so as I told you I'm running Mac OS Monterey on my second solicit drive and is working really well and this was the goal of the new caddy and I hoped I hope you liked the video and if you don't and if you do don't forget to leave the like consider to su subscribe my channel and i catch you on a new video thank you very much bye bye